Okay, um, so yeah, uh, mainly this video is going to be for two things. Um, for one, I'm going to try something today, something a little, because I've been wanting to, like, I like the, uh, let's go over here real quick. Oh, look, uh, I should be farming this, but I like, I like doing this, and I've wanted to, like, live stream this or just record me doing this. Um, but, uh, yeah, I just haven't had a chance. But now, because uh, I usually, like, it, the day it comes out, I just do it that day. And I usually do it, like, I'm at when I'm at work. So I don't, you know, because uh, I'm too impatient. I just want the, the, um, the summon. But now those metals aren't, those uh, transmit stills aren't going to the summon. They're going to my belly and merges. So I'm a little more patient with them. Uh, second of all, which was this? Oh, flags. Second of all, I'm just going to do a bunch of these summons right now just because we just got a bunch of them. Uh... Uh, hopefully my barracks are full. So, yeah, we're going to do a bunch of these summons. Everything I have real quick. Uh, let's do this. Ooh, let's see if we got a five-star. Um, and this is also an announcement to, like... I don't have, like, that many... Ooh, I got a five-star out of the, uh... The... Little metals. Um, I actually have two tamarins. This is my third one, I think. Um... I don't know if I should put them all into regular Tamarin or just wait till like ML Tamarin. I'll probably just wait for ML Tamarin if I'm honest. Um, but yeah, this is also this video is going to be. It's not going to be one whole video of me doing the Automaton Tower because that takes like many hours. It's going to be chopped up. But like in each one of those videos, I'm going to mention that um, I'm going to do a live stream eventually. Uh, if anybody has questions and stuff like that, they can go to that live stream and do whatever. Uh, oh, I forgot that they have this pity system now. Um, yeah, so that, that'll be that. Let's see, where is my, this one? So we're just going to burn a few on this. I don't have that many, but may as well. Like I said, this is actually just pretty good because um, you can still get, like, you can get any five-star in the game as well as you can get, uh, you can get other MLs in here as well. You can get ML five-stars, ML four-stars, ML whatevers that aren't these two. Uh, it's just that at the end you can pity this one. So if you had a pity saved up, I mean, personally, this is like the dream banner right here. This is it. If you had 10k Mystic Metal. So all those people who had that can do whatever they want with it. Now, uh, a lot of them are probably just not like... If they haven't pulled up till now, there's probably no one they want necessarily. And they, if they have a Pity left over, there's probably no one they want. Um, so they're probably just going to summon for like um, ML Vivian when she comes out. And we're going to do these 10 pulls real quick. So yeah, for that live stream, I'm probably going to be doing... Um, I'll probably just play like... Do my labyrinth auto run because i have to do well the, the the hell raid just reset so i'll probably do like that day's labyrinth run and then like all the hell raid or maybe i'll just do all the hell raid i'll probably leave the labyrinth run the regular lab out because i usually just do it all in one day um because i have a team that can auto it mostly auto it i you know i do it at work so every time i like every few few minutes i'll like look over and just to see it's doing okay or like i'll press like arky here and there uh, so I didn't really get anything out of that. Um, is that all the summons I have? I think that's all the summons I have. Uh, so not too bad. Uh, we got a five star out of this, which is pretty cool. I rarely get anything out of that. Um, fortunately, these shot these coins you can be used on something even if uh, you don't get the five star you want by the time this whole like month rolls over and you lose this. Is this uh, <laughs> is this worth all the mystic medals you threw in there? Probably not, but this is probably the best thing you want to pull for. Um, modification gems are pretty good, and the fact that you don't, you just get to choose them uh, is even better. So there you go. Because if I make it to 110, it'll be pretty cool, because at least I'll get Kiwana. Uh, Kiwana's not that good. Uh, she doesn't really do anything. I don't really want her for any other reason other than like collector reasons, and I have enough Kiwanas to uh, uh, max imprint her. So I was like, oh, you know, may as well. The only other four, the only four star I want right now is. Um, Bad Cat Armin, and obviously we can't choose her, so that's that. Uh, so we're going to go over here to Automaton Tower. This, well, actually, this is the wrong button. The Automaton Tower, the thing about this is that um, at some point, I'm probably going to do a live stream of this, but like, since this is the first, since I'm announcing the first live stream, uh, this is it, right? So, like, I don't have anyone, there's not a, there's not enough people to like live stream, and no one knows I'm going to live stream, no one knows when. I don't have any way to announce it, so I'll probably announce it here. Um, when is that live stream going to happen? That's a good question. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't have exact time or date, but uh, for any of you uh, who are on YouTube a lot, then you know, just keep an eye out and you'll see that it's coming up. Just to 
more of like um, keep it in the mind space is the uh, is the point there. Uh, so my team is usually these these four. I usually auto it with these people, and I'll have to be. I'll be right back. Okay. Um, so yeah, this is the team I usually auto with. Uh, Violet's just busted for this kind of content, um, and I'll usually change them up depending on like what kind of artifacts or whatever, and what kind of devices I get. Um, so hopefully I have enough to talk about while this whole thing is, <laughs> while I uh, video this entire thing, because I just realized, you know, I'm not sure um, this is going to be too entertaining, just because these actually like when you're playing this, it actually takes longer per like floor than you might think it would. I think, if you were to ask me, uh, Defiance, oh, then it's just this one. Yeah, provokes everyone, yeah, so this is like, this is broken. This one's pretty good, but obviously it's not better than this. Um... Yeah, it's a max health to all allies, so this is just dumb. It just funnels everyone into Violet. Um, Arby is usually the weakest link to this, so I, I sometimes I'll swap him out for, like, um, Fire Mercedes, you know? <laughs> yeah, see, so, like, yeah. This, this, cut, this also cuts down... The time it takes to like complete this, because now Violet is countering constantly and getting AOE damage like it's nobody's business. Um, so there's oh he didn't dodge that, but even if he doesn't dodge, right, he still does damage proportional to his HP. Um, we don't have any fire. Crit chance, crit damage, no. Uh, crit chance, crit damage, maybe. Uh, I kind of like this one, but I just realized that I don't have. Fire Mercedes built, so probably gonna have to go with this one, especially because my RB doesn't crit a lot of the time. He's only got like 80% crit or something like that. Oh my gosh, he just like half hit everybody. This gets even more ridiculous when you get the, there's like a, a device that makes his S1 do AOE damage, like based on his attack stat, it's, it's ridiculous. Um, Violet, like I said, Violet's just like, disproportionately like, overpowered in this concept for some reason, I don't know, like they put like, they put so many things in here that are just like, who else would use this other than Violet, why would you put this in here? Um, which is kind of interesting. Um, maximum focus, nobody cares. Uh, so we restart their turn to spells one. That's pretty good. Yeah, we're gonna go with this one. I'm gonna keep an eye on the time and see how many floors we get in like half an hour. Hopefully everything's plugged in and working. Right. I don't want to like record for half an hour and not have it go anywhere. <laughs> It's only 4k damage, which isn't that bad. It's not, you know, like it could be better, but like, I mean, it's free damage, right? And like, the wave's already cleared. Again, I could probably like make a short version of this, but like, I don't know, I like the process of going through like, because this basically this is as close as we have to like uh, Epic 7 roguelike. Oh my gosh, we already got it again. I like this one right here though, um, but I really want this. Uh, hundred percent of his. So we're fifty percent of his HP. He's got like sixteen grand, so it's gonna hit for eight thousand. Yeah, double what we have now. Yeah, we're just gonna go with this because it's more rare. We'll probably get that counterattack one again later. But yeah, so I I tried playing. What was that other one? I don't know. Like this one is is, is a lot of fun to me. It very it reminds me of like um, Darkest Dungeon kind of. For anybody who's played that, Darkest Dungeon is exactly like that, obviously. Um, but there are certain like roguelike elements to Darkest Dungeon, um, especially the second one. Apparently, is more like kind of like this in terms of like going through like a a one you know a one run at a time thing. 
But uh, I was playing, what's that game called? Uh, oh, these all suck. These all, like, it's funny, like, there's so many of these that are really bad, like, no one cares about. Um, I don't use any of these characters that I haven't built, and I might, I guess I'll, you know, this is the one I can go for. Sometimes I swap out uh, one of these characters for uh, Rem, uh, but not always. Uh, but I was playing um, Slay the Spire. Yeah, I was playing Slay the Spire, and uh, uh, that game is all right. I mean, it's like I can see like the complexities, and I can see like how someone would really like it a lot. But personally, I, it was just kind of boring to me. I was like, eh, whatever. Um, it's just like it's not like good enough as a roguelike on its own. To me, like to me, these are all like again. I, I haven't played the game enough to go in there and do proper analysis on it, so like, you know, take it all over a grain of salt. Um, but like, to me, it's not like good enough on its own to be a good roguelike. Um, and it's also not good enough on its own to be like a good card game, right? Because those are the two elements, the roguelike card game. The card game elements are kind of like weak and the roguelike elements are kind of weak. And you put them together and they don't really like, to me, they, they, they gel decently. And see, look, he came back. If an ally attacks when it is the caster's turn. Okay, this is a dual attack thing, which who cares? The first attack penetration is is pretty bad just because it's like who cares? Like it's only one attack. You want to get stuff that gives you more longevity. Um and this is pretty good because this gives you gives uh him back here a uh, what's it called uh, an outburst ritual sword. So he just like, counter attacks whenever he hits someone else. Um and I did that was the wrong word. I didn't mean longevity. What I meant was, you want to pick something that gives you more effects on multiple turns, right? Because when you get to the end of the boss and you're fighting them, the first attack, penetrating my 35% of defense is, like, worthless, right? Like, it didn't mean anything. He, 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 he did not dodge, like, any of those. That was sad. He dodged, like, only one out of those three. There we go. They might be dead. Oh, no. Okay. Um, yeah, so, like, just pick stuff that has, like, more effect throughout the battle rather than, like, something like that. Here you go. Like, this is... Look at this. These are pretty good, but I'm going to take this one. And you kind of want to, like... There's some that you want to pick, like that. Like, that Elbris counter thing that for the back row unit was pretty good, and that's something you kind of want to pick in general. Um, but you gotta have to weigh up, like, should I pick this now when I had something of higher rarity in there? And you want to generally prioritize the higher rarity thing, even if maybe it's going to be, like, slightly less returns than the other one. It's all about, like, you know, maximizing returns and whatnot. There's a, I don't know, I don't know why they gave it to him, why he has it. Go if we can see it. See if he has it here. Yeah, it's not here. Um, for some reason, he has a le uh, Violet has a legendary um, thing here, and it basically just gives him fifty percent evasion and like a bunch more attack or something. I forgot what it gave him, but like, damn, that's crazy. Um, so he just basically dodges every single time, which is like just beyond silly. I don't know why it was there. I mean, I don't know because usually those things are kind of there to help you like choose other units like oh here try building this unit you've got a pretty fun cool interesting like um whatever right or maybe use a, a less optimal unit and you can do this right uh, but i thought it was funny like his is just so overpowered increases damage dealt by rangers that's pretty good because i have landy there but i'm probably gonna go with this one yeah first attack attacks twice yeah i'm gonna go with this one so this one has the same problem as the other one right where like it's only their first attack, but because I have two assassins and his first attack is the AOE S3, then he's gonna S1 twice, which means he's gonna hit four times or four people. Violet's the same way. He's gonna counterattack. They're gonna hit him. He's gonna counterattack. He's gonna hit some guy twice, uh, and they should just be deleted at that point. So we'll look at this, okay? And then we'll get this, and then we'll get another one. And that's already a whole bunch of damage on turn one, which is pretty good. Um, definitely a lot better than like a small penetr a small defense penetration, especially because like the biggest problem in a 
in uh, the automaton tower isn't even so much that they have a lot of um, defense, right? The, the defense penetration has always been interesting to me because they don't have that much defense. They have a lot of health, mainly. Because I, like, and the way I know they, have, they don't have that much defense is because, like, I usually play this, well, I don't know. I guess that's just me. But, like, I don't, I've never done this with, like, a defense breaker. Like, I don't care enough to bring a defense breaker. Because um, they don't really have that high defense to begin with. They, they take huge hits. Like, they take a lot of damage, right? Like that. They just, like, have so much HP. And there's so many ways to get uh, defense, like... What's the word like? There's so many get ways to get true damage. Like, they hit him, and he does 8,000 back in terms of true damage, in terms of his health. This one's pretty good on all enemies, yeah, for more damage. See this one again, 25% is, is really bad. Mm, yeah, it's not very good. Uh, so this is pretty good. 30% uh, free damage on everyone is not bad. It lasts for two turns, whereas that defense penetration didn't last for one turn. Um, so yeah. I think we should probably target... Um, normally, I don't... Uh, I don't really target anybody or press anything while I'm doing this. I just auto it. Oh wow, that was horrendously bad. Well, he's not dodging any of this, which means that like he wouldn't have countered anyway, so <laughs> whatever. It's it was like I don't know, it took me four years of playing this game to finally max out uh Tamarin's <laughs> um with Wonders Potion Vial. It's just so sad. Um I didn't want to like upgrade that for the longest time. Um it is it's not necessarily like improve her that much, but certainly um, it's less annoying. Because I had it at 84%. Like, the first time I put it on her, I went up to 84 and that was it. And I was like, whatever. Um, but after constantly getting, like, screwed over by it, especially, like, when you're playing Abyss. When you're playing Abyss, that was why I, I maxed it. Like, you're playing Abyss, like, you get, 50, you get that one 15%, like, all the time, exactly when you don't need it. It's like, it's so sad. So I was like, ah, you know, whatever. I'm tired of dealing with this. So I just, I just maxed it. It's also, I mean, it's not bad, right? Because like, then she also gets like more health and all those other stats and whatnot. Here, it's not so big a deal, but obviously you can see my landing keeps missing crits, which is hilariously bad. Uh, we'll probably get this one later, but again, we want to go rarity wise, so we want to pick up this instead. I usually it's hard to decide whether I want um, Vildred here or Landy here. That guy's dead. So yeah, like I said, as you can see, <laughs> Violet is excessively overpowered for this content. So if anyone's having any trouble, just, just I mean, uh, you know, obviously it's an easy thing to say, just get a Violet, but uh, yeah, if you got Violet and you're sitting on him, go get your, uh, go get that lifesteal gear. Mine is on like half Abyss lifesteal gear, half and half like you know stuff I made Let's see where are we at we're at 20 minutes so we got 10 more um, more nail yeah I think I like more nail this one is still useless I've never picked this one up unless I have to unless I, don't, I mean I don't remember why I would have to but like yeah this, I hate that one so much it always like it, it's always it always comes out and it's never useful so everybody's got two nails, which I think I think that affects stacks. So either they're taking sixty percent extra damage because each each nail is thirty percent, or it's some sort of weird multiple multiplicative effect where it's like you get thirty percent more damage, but you get thirty percent of that thirty percent or something like that. I don't know. We don't, we don't, we don't, I don't know how these things work. They could be weird. Oh my gosh, I think it is that sixty percent because that's a lot of damage. You basically destroyed those guys. 
Do they take? No, they don't. I was like, do they take more damage from that true, uh, true damage health, health scaling damage? This is the only problem is when this happens. Wow, he did not dodge any of that. <laughs> he did not dodge a single hit, and all of them were on defense broken hits. That's hilariously bad. Okay, we can just pick this up, right? Yeah, we'll take this. Uh, there we go. Now he's going to dodge even more. Good. Good. I'm glad. We won't have that happening again. 25%, so he's at 80% dodge. Uh, I don't like to spend stigma on on this. I try to like to see if I can do the whole thing without spending stigma, but um, he is looking kind of low. Fortunately, Tamarin's up next. So. And dead. Wow. Crazy. I wonder how many floors. Wait, I, I, didn't, I wasn't even checking to see how many floors he had. Um, warrior, warrior. All the warrior ones, like, all these are so bad. Yeah, like, damage of knight units. Like, there's no knight units that's dealing enough damage. I guess maybe Bellion, because she's AoE. No one's bringing in, um, what's his name? Charles, uh, that's kind of weird. Start a battle, warrior gains maximum focus and fighting spirit. I don't really... To decrease skill cooldown by one. Um, yeah, none of these are very good. Uh, so just go with this in case like we bring Ram or something. Uh, let's see what floor we're on. So we're on floor 30, 13, we're on 14 now. Uh, I could probably just do this in two parts then. Okay. Yeah, we're just like piling on so much damage right now. Plus, it's just satisfying to see like Violet just dumpster everything like this. I don't know. To me, it's hilarious. I don't think those, because obviously the devices rotate in and out, like different devices are available at different, like, for different times. Um, well, that was a lot of dual attacks. Uh, they're available at different times. Um, but yeah, I haven't, I guess we haven't picked up any of those, uh, like, deal true damage on them based on the unit's attack, if they do a single attack or something like that, which is, that's kind of sad. We're more than halfway there, because there's still only 25 floors. Okay, we don't have a lot of AoE. I mean, we have some, but we'll see how this goes. There we go. Um, yeah, as you obviously are, may or may not be able to tell, I am kind of sick, so um, my my nose is kind of stuffy. But um, I didn't want to pause the recording just because it's on auto. I was like, you know, well, may as well. Um, yeah, again, whenever you're doing these floors, like if you're having trouble, usually it's just target the healer because like the healer is giving you the most problems most of the time. Um, they basically just make it faster to like just kill them. Oh my gosh, I missed so many dual attacks. Did he do that? 
again, I don't... These guys come up a lot, right? This team is almost always here in Abyss. I'll, like... Or Abyss, um... In, um... In the Automaton Tower. Like, I'll look over and I'll be like, Hey, look, it's that team again. I don't exactly know what they do, because I don't... Again, I don't study them. I just, like, auto it. Okay, so, I mean, that probably does what it does in the in PvP. Because they, they change their kits around for PvE. Uh, so it's not always exactly the same. And we get stuff like this where it's like, what am I supposed to do with this? Uh, basic skill, whatever. Wait, what? attacks with a basic skill after using Genesis. Ah, it's pretty cool. Um, it's not very good, but it's, I mean, it's just, it's funny to watch some of these and see some be excessively overpowered and other ones just be kind of like, eh, I guess they're pretty good. Uh, using a non-attack skill grants an extra turn to a random ally. And that one's not too bad, but, oh wow, and increased attack greater. That one's pretty good too. Uh, but I don't use any of these characters, so I'll just take Alencia just because Alencia's cool. Um, we'll probably do like five more floors and we'll see where we go from there. So you can see there I have a lot of leafs which I should be burning right now to uh, <laughs> to be doing uh, hunt content, which I will do after this, but I just felt like getting this out of the way. We have all kinds of stuff. You want to have like uptime and a lot of stuff happening at once, right? So like, I can do this now. While I'm uploading the video, I can start grinding out hunts, right? And then I'm doing two things. I'm grinding out hunts, and I've got a video working on being uploaded. So <laughs> you got to be optimal with your time, both in-game and out of the game, right? Honestly, depending on how long this takes to get these next five floors done, I might just do it all as one video. I mean, I've had longer videos of me just rambling, <laughs> right? So, like, actually having stuff to talk about and, like, stuff to watch might be probably better. So I'm probably just going to keep it all as one video. Um, there we go. Now he does 16k on the true damage thing. Wait. Oh, here it is. I was looking for this. Uh, I want this one, too, but... Single attack. Damage to all enemies. Yep, we're taking this. And there we go. Now we're just going to start, like, hopefully we're going to start, like, wiping these floors a lot easier. And there we go. AoE from that. Single target from this. And again. And again. And he's got attack buff, and then we get that. Almost, what, 35k on everybody for free? That's not including this one. That's 22k on that. That's crazy. So now Landy's S1 also deals AoE, which is pretty cool too. There we go. See? Just wiping floors. Uh, ice, ice, and fire. Uh, fire heroes, evasion. Uh, we'll just take that. Um, let's, go. let's do it. I don't know if you guys can hear those. We have birds in the house. Well, not. I mean, they're not just flying around in the house. Don't <laughs> get the wrong idea. Um, I don't know. I felt like that's what it sounded like. No, but we have um, birds in their little cages and they're hanging out over there. I don't know how loud that is. I can hear that from way over here, but um, I'm just kind of like concerned. Uh, it's coming through the mic. I don't want any weird like redditors finding out like triangulating my location based off the echoes of like <laughs> the bird sounds or whatever. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't know. Red people are crazy. <laughs> Obviously not famous enough to, like, warrant anything like that, but... It's fun for the memes, isn't it? Does it count every time I ace? Every time I attack? I have no idea. Right, because if I, if I attack twice in a row, like, that one device lets me, like... Does it count both of those and give me a double stack of that AoE? Like, I had a hard time calculating it, but I think that 35k one probably had something to do with that. Damage dealt and crit chance. Damage dealt and crit chance. I feel like taking this. 
These are all actually pretty decent. Um, I think I'm going to take this just because Landy keeps missing crits. Um, so let's just patch that up. The cool thing about this is it's also like, it's got good cleave potential, like just to wipe out these flares as fast as possible. But it's also got good um, damage potential against bosses and whatnot. Like I said, these are all like pretty easy to get. Like Arby, you can get them free in the like Moonlight rotation thing. If you don't have that Moonlight, like free Moonlight choosable thing, um, then uh, you can actually, you know who I could replace with him? Maybe, maybe. Um, you can get him from that. Would I, do I suggest getting him from that? No, probably you want to get um, Spectre Tenebria from that Moonlight, whatever, um, connection. Um, but, you know, if you want Arby, he's there. Arby's not the worst choice. He's still a pretty good choice. Don't let anybody tell you that, like, Arby's trash, because he's not... <laughs> he's not trash. Like, you, you know, if you look at people's streams, you watch people streaming RTA and Legend, right? There's still, like, some guy... You screw up your draft, and then he's like, oh, well, looks like a good place to pick Arby. He picks up Arby and just dumpsters you, and it's like, well, <laughs> there that goes. Um, so, yeah, keep that in mind as well. Um, but, yeah, like I said, if you if you really want, like, if you want to be optimal, obviously, you know, Spectre Tenebria is probably the one you want to take. I will take, oh, look, 40% chance. It's pretty good. Oh, this one's pretty good, too. I like this one. Uh, we'll take this one just to get this one out of the way. 40% is no joke. Um, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, Arby's pretty decent to get. Obviously, right now they're running the banners of like you can you can pick Landy if you want in that custom banner. Um, obviously you know Violet's always been good. Well, not always, always, but like ever since he got patched, he's been good no matter what. Like he's kind of fallen off the meta, obviously. Uh, but if you're still if you're not ready for him, he just like he's just gonna stomp on you like like the way they're doing here. Like they don't really have anything to do with, like to to deal with him, so he's just like destroying these people. This is interesting. He eats the apple no matter what, which I find kind of interesting. I would have, it would have been nice if he. Oh, he's already. They're already targeting this guy, which is what I want. Um, it would have been nice if he did the S3 first and then save the apple for later. I don't know where I'm clicking. There we go. There's his RB just blasting away. How much does this do? 20 plus 5k. Arby's doing like 17 per AoE, which, yeah, it's, it's about, it's probably better. Yeah, 15. Yeah. And this Kron. If he can do, I think he, I think he can. Did he do it? I wasn't paying attention, but if he does that, like single target, uh, we're gonna get pretty biffed. Come on, just kill him already. And oh, we got the Immortal. So he's, he's gonna S three, which someone's gonna die. Probably, hopefully, RB. Oh no, well, he just, he just died. We'll see who he S3s with the, with the thing. Did RB revive? Yeah, he did too. <laughs> and he didn't get the blind. See how much damage this does, I'm curious. It was actually pretty chunky. I don't think, uh... Uh, we'll, uh, I need I need to I need to if if she doesn't have her heal I need a soul burn the S one with uh, what's her name Tamarin. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna push you back. Nope. Okay. Um, this isn't helping anything because he's immortal. But actually, let's do this. Let's see if you can strip the immortality. Yep. And he's dead. <laughs> cool. That solves it. <laughs> um, attack. Okay, this is. I, I like this one here. I don't really care about these other ones. So more attack for thieves. Max health. 
Oh, this just gives you benefits if you're a thief, ranger, or mage. But it, it gives you more health, but less defense as a warrior or a knight. That's kind of weird. I don't know what's up with that, but whatever. That's a good enhancement for everyone. It'll do more, we'll do more damage with the, like, um, AoE, um, proc thing. That last one actually ate up a lot of time. We're at 35 minutes right now. Hopefully it doesn't take longer than an hour. <laughs> 38, that's crazy. 23. This actually, the AoE on this is going to be less just because uh, I don't have an attack buff anymore. Yeah. I want to get more devices into that one, just because like that, again, like I said, that AoE damage is ridiculous. It's all true damage. These guys look like Geo Bishops from um, Genshin. It's kind of funny. I've been playing Genshin a lot recently. Crit chance is worthless, so see, this is what I mean, like, this crit chance is worthless, everyone's already at 100% just because of all the individual things I've gotten. This only works on Violet one time when he does his S3. He only has a 50%, and he only has a 70% chance to proc it, so this one's just insanely useless. So, against, when there's nothing else, you gotta take that one. It just be what it is. Oh my gosh. They're all blue. I don't think they stack. 30... 38, 16 comes from, so that's 22. Yeah, I guess they do. So that, because that's three. Each one is doing like 6k per like AoE or two damage uh, proc from the, from just the, the S1, the single target thing. So six times three is 18 plus 16 is about 30, what, 34? And, you know, give or take a few hundred. So yeah, 36 or a few thousand. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, plus it's more when he has attack buff, which is why, yeah, so. There's a few thousand more because of attack buff before, so it is those 36 or 38 or whatever. This one sucks, this one sucks, and this one, they all suck. Uh, the burn is dumb, we'll just take this. More molas, damn, we have so many molas these days. Like, I almost don't know what to do with them all. But that's just because, like, I'm not building, like, every unit that comes out. Like, uh, like I don't know. The Molo issue is still, like... Here, here's the thing with Molas, from my perspective. is like... A lot of people complain about them, and yes, there's not, like... We're not rolling in Molas, you know what I mean? Like, Molas are scarce. They're, like, they're a resource. You gotta pay attention to them. If you don't, you know, if you're not on your stuff every week, getting all your Molas that you can get... You're not gonna have, you know, you're gonna have a lot less, right? But I don't know. I, I'd prefer them to be scarce than to just be handed out like nothing, right? Like as if they weren't important. But that's just me personally, right? Um, I can't speak for everyone. I don't know what everyone like, kind of, you know, how they want molas to be. Um, but yeah, personally, I'd rather them be more scarce than more available, because like, you know, it takes time. You gotta like grind them out. You gotta make sure, you know, you're being efficient. You gotta make sure this, that, and the other. Um, yeah, I don't know, just like, you gotta be on top of it. Um, and you know, you usually have enough to upgrade whatever units you, you care about. Uh, obviously whales are gonna have molas everywhere, and I think part of the reason people want molas is because, like, the whole YouTube, like, it's important to realize this whole YouTube, like, environment is basically designed to make you spend money. There's a reason why Miho, or Mihoyo, I'm talking about Genshin, there's a reason why 
Uh, Smilegate, Epic Seven. Well, I'll talk about that right now. Let me. And we'll do this one, I guess. Uh, health scaling, enemy health scaling. <laughs> There's a reason Epic Seven, uh, you know, Smilegate, whatever. There's a reason they uh, pay money to YouTube video makers. The people who make, I mean, I don't. Don't, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that the YouTube video makers and all that stuff, all the YouTubers, I'm not saying they're shills, I'm not saying they're paying them here, give us a good word. No, 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 that's not what I'm saying. A lot of them are like, oh, here, you're part of this program, you're making content about our game, here's a little kickback, right? Here's a few Sky Stones, here's a few whatever, here's, you know, here's something, right? So it's an encouragement. There's a reason they like doing that, um, and that's because they get a lot of money from that. Not directly, not like, okay... Here's, you know, if I have a YouTube channel, it's like, oh, here's my 1,000 subscribers. Go buy, like, a Mola pack or something. No, they don't get money like that directly. But when YouTubers hype characters up every week, every time a new character comes out, they hype them up, they say they're broken, they say they're overpowered. New people who don't really know one way or the other are like, oh, that YouTuber said, so I better go get them, and then they dump a bunch of resources into them. When, one, they don't have the gear, they don't really know how to use them very well, they don't know the situations in which to use them. And now they're short on Mola because they just burned a bunch of Mola on a unit that, you know, someone else said was like, yeah, it's a must do. Um, so, yeah, again, and, and they can afford to do that because they have money on top of everything else to just be buying Mola packs, right? Like, they make money from YouTube and all this other stuff. So keep that in mind. Like, as long as you're being diligent and you're, you know, making sure you're, you're, you're not, like, wasting Mola, then, you know, for the most part, you're going to have as much Mola as you need. The only people who complain are because the people who are the super whales who hang out, or not, you know, and the, and the mostly just the whales, like they don't have to be super whales, but just whales in general. People who hang out at Legend, those guys don't really care. They have enough molas to put everywhere because they have all the money in the world. The people under that who aren't in Legend, like that, don't spend any money or b barely any money. We're never really short on molas because we don't waste them on stuff that like. To keep up with the meta, right? It's like, oh, I need this unit. Okay, this unit came out. Now I gotta get this to keep up with the meta. Right, thank goodness we got this. Um, and we got this just before. Um, yeah, so we're not like constantly chasing that, like you know, the FOMO of like Legend RTA, right? The people who do complain about it the most, a lot of times, are the two classes, right? For those of you who watch like Mangos videos, are those people who just want to build everything, right? They want to build a they want to build a bunch of four stars just for silly purposes. There's nothing necessarily wrong with that. Don't hopefully you know that's not. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. Every time, every so often, this happens. Um, <laughs> see how much he heals. Oh yeah, I forgot. So, Rowana in here. See, she didn't heal there. Doesn't always heal. There's certain conditions. Um, but yeah, that's kind of interesting. Anyway, what I was saying was. There's nothing wrong with wanting to build, like, silly, you know, jobber units just for the fun of it. Um, that's, you know, that's the way you play. But, like, you know, you have to realize that you're going to lose a lot of Mola in the process of that. Because almost every unit in this game is pretty fun. And they're really interesting to invest points into. I mean, do I think it sucks that, like, oh, I mean, I'd rather, I want to try this unit out, but I can't because they're not a very good investment. I mean, obviously, I'd, I'd prefer to try them out, but, uh, you know, I'm not going to, like... It's not a detriment, right? I just I need to be more careful with my resources. Um, so that those are the those are one category. And again, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, you know, you you play the game how, as long as you're enjoying the game. Really, that's the bottom line, right? So as long as you're enjoying the game, play it your way. But the other people who complain are the people who are like the low end of of of, of RTA Legend, right? They're the kind of people who like scrape by to just to make it into Legend, right? They're not in Legend comfortably. Um, they don't want to spend enough to be in Legend comfortably, uh, but they also don't want to be free to play and try to make it into Legend, right? They're the kind of people who are like in the middle. And it's that middle ground that costs you because you have to compete because you want to put yourself in a position to compete with people spending all the money in the world, and you don't want to spend that kind of money. Um, so really, there's no one to blame there other than you know oneself. And those are the kind of people who constantly complain about molas. Is the people who like. Uh, are kind of like mid-tier spenders, right? Who don't want to like invest a huge amount of money into this game, uh, but then complain when they can't keep up with the people who are investing a bunch of money into this game. Um, I don't know. I guess like to me, do I think? Because I come from uh, what's it called? I come from uh, Fire Emblem, where competing with the high end is feasible as 100% free to play, and Acarus kind of uh, shows us that. I don't know if the game is like that anymore. Uh, I kind of left about a year ago or two years ago. No, a year ago, I think. 
Uh, the point is, I haven't played it for a long time, so I don't know, right? But at the time, it was, right? Um, but the point I want to make... The point I want to make is that, like... In this game, I, you know, you kind of have to resign yourself to realizing that free-to-play, that pay-to-win is is a gate, right? It's a limiter. Your your experience is going to be miserable if you're going to compete with people outside your, your uh, what's the word? Outside of your monetary bracket, right? It's kind of like, here, let me give you an example. I guess not everyone's going to understand this because not everyone uh, knows much about sports. But when you're playing, when, you, when you're playing, when you're doing something like MMA or something like that, like, it's kind of like complaining that you can't really compete against a guy who has 10 pounds on you, right? 10 pounds, I mean, you know, again, like I said, this analogy is kind of hard for a lot of people who don't really know much about, like, sports or combat sports. Like, 10 pounds is, like, an absurd amount of weight to be dealing with. Like, everything is just, like, you take hits better and you dish out hits just casually easier. Um... Not casually, mind you, like, you know, there still has to be some amount of skill involved. You can't just, like, have me, I'm 200 pounds right now, uh, don't make fun of me. Um, you can't have me go up against some guy who's, like, you know, 180, who's, like, an MMA fighter. Of course he's going to stomp on me, I'm just saying, you know. If there's two people of d decently, relatively, you know, match skill level, the weight difference is going to make, you know, colossal amounts of, like, advantage for one. And that's kind of what it's like when you're talking about the money, the brackets here, right? Complaining against, complaining that you can't keep up MOLA-wise and resource-wise with people who are dumping, you know, millions, or not millions, but I mean, maybe, right? <laughs> dumping, like, thousands of dollars into this game. Like, that's that's what that sounds like, is you complaining that, you know, you can't compete in that weight bracket. It's like, just go up to that weight bracket, get more pounds, stack on some more pounds. It's not that simple, but you know what I mean. Um, here, it's like, like I said... But yeah, um, so like I said, the Mola situation, I'm pretty okay with. Um, hopefully, you guys aren't too piff, uh, too too pissed off about it. But um, we'll see how that goes. Uh, but yeah, so this is kind of an experiment. I wanted to see uh, how many people, because I don't see a lot of content on Automaton Tower, and a lot of people just like show you edited like the fat, the last five rounds, or like whatever um, little highlights or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I, like I said, I don't stream, and uh, I just wanted to show the entire thing. Um, just to give some people like some ideas of like what are some good teams to break it to bring into that. Uh, I actually lost Arby and Landy there. That usually doesn't happen, um, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, I still won at the end because, like I said, Violet's really just like the most like overpowered unit in this mode for some reason. I don't know. Like all of it, like most of the stuff, just is just tailor made for him to take advantage of it. Uh, but yeah, so that being said, like I said, um, look forward to a possible live stream in the future uh, where I'll probably be doing Q and A stuff. Uh, I might like do that premiere scheduling thing so people know when it's going to happen. Um, and if anybody's got any questions or whatever, then you know, feel free. It doesn't have to be Epic Seven related; it could be anything um, within reason. I'm not going to tell you what kind of like. I'm not going to give you like. Let's <laughs> just not get into it, okay? <laughs> just try to keep them reasonable. Um, but yeah, until uh, until then. Hopefully, you guys uh, enjoyed this content. We'll we'll see how it does, and maybe I'll make more. <laughs>